Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is me, Muhammad Afaq Khan. Being as a small YouTuber, a teacher, and a Muslim, this is my responsibility to make this video. I know most of you have heard about Punish a Muslim Day. Yes, the sick letters which were distributed across the UK calling out people to attack Muslims physically and verbally. Now the question is, why do you want to punish Muslims? Obviously, if you want to do something, there must be a reason. Is it because they have contributed more than 31 billions to the UK economy? Or is it because in London alone there are 115,000 Muslims who are on higher managerial, administrative and professional occupation? And yes, in London alone there are more than 14,000 Muslim-owned businesses which creates more than 70,000 jobs. And British Muslims are estimated to spend over 1 billion in halal food industry. And in 2017 UK general elections, it was revealed that the most loved political party, Labour Party, has the most Muslim MPs. Now before you punish Muslim, keep this thing in your mind that Islam is the second largest religion in the United Kingdom. And it's not because of all the Muslim refugees coming and staying in the UK, but it's because that in 2013, there were 100,000 converts to Islam and 66% of them were women. Now with all these facts and figures, my point is that we Muslims are too busy in making United Kingdom even more greater. It is my humble request from all of you, no matter if you're Muslim or non-Muslim, please try to teach your children and every single person that please do not react crazily on 3rd of April. Do not even try to talk to a racist person because if you want to punish a racist, let's punish them with hugs, love, support and most important awareness about Islam and the contribution of Muslims in United Kingdom. Now just imagine how would you feel if there is a day like a festival and anything can happen to you and people can earn silly point just by hurting you and from same situation our old Muslim children are now going through. I have heard my students how they were telling each other what they're going to do and how they will be hiding themselves on 3rd of April. But guess what? I will be roaming around in Manchester City on 3rd of April because I want to prove it to every single person that there is no place for racism in the United Kingdom. And the people of UK are the most livable and supportive. So this is my request from every single Muslim brothers and sisters and even non-Muslims that instead of hiding on 3rd of April, let's come forward and let's be united because hiding is not a solution of the problem. Because first solution of any problem is to face it. If you think this video deserves to be shared, please do share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. In Allah, face.